I am Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to. Oh, oh there's a bench in the way. <laughs> well, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to one. I didn't even see that. Oh, this spooky masked man with no legs. So I guess this place is more the mansion than the room. I guess. Then I guess the room was a lot <laughs> bigger than one room in the first place. But... It's interesting kind of how the little bits with Zachary kind of mirror the, um, the Hugo moments. Yeah. Speaking of Hugo, something I didn't notice in the original game, he's... I think he's holding like a ham to kind of show that he's related to meat, I guess? But yeah. That's something I noticed. Uh, that's something I learned from the wiki. It always just kind of looked like he had a red shirt, but or like red pajamas. Yeah. Yeah, it was apparently ham. Where did it all go wrong? Where did it fall apart? Who was to blame? Why did you forsake us? Don't get your blood on books, people. Hit blank. They lied. Looks like someone wrote in the book, read it. What could be the cause of all this? Twisting their minds, twisting their souls. Now everyone's corrupted. Their new behavior now destructive. Meow. They think. The words were empty. Meow. Meow. Nope. Like the inside fences. Oh, more body parts. That kind of reminds me of the... I love the ominous, like... I don't even know how to describe it, but like the pictures with the cows and stuff, when it's explaining the mm -hmm. element of meat. It was always really impactful and jarring in the original. Oh. What's all this then? Warm and cozy. Ah. Screenshot time. I feel like, well, I can actually probably screenshot it. <laughs> oh, I smell a secret. Sure, that one guy without the legs that we just fought. No, not that secret. Two loving tickets. These tickets love and support you. I wonder if I can. Oh no, can't reach it. <laughs> I wanted to walk up the waterfall. <laughs> I love the duality of meaning that the books are fake means, like, I assume it just means they're just not even books, but it's like, it's like, it's not a real book, it's like, it's a copy book, like the, the letter, you open it up and the letters are just wrong. That's what I want it to be. <laughs> He's watching. These boys are watching. With those bloodshot eyes. Did you always plan to have the uh, the judge as a playable character then? Or was he added later, like uh, light? Kind of. Like I I had planned on having him come back. But I wasn't sure about the party member thing, but I was like, you know what, we may as well have a fourth party member, let's have it be him. When we started that count, I was expecting that we would just get like three puppets, kind of like the three add-ons, after we mm -hmm. got buttons, but... Like have other, like, Spectre, <laughs> Doll or 
something. It's kind of interesting that the fan game has more visual variety and party members when the original game's just kind of circles. Though because of the holy implications of the the names and stuff, I've seen it, you know, thought that maybe they're, they're supposed to be halos, which... I've seen double halos on some Victorian arts and stuff. I'm not sure I've seen triple halos, though. Like, I've seen some really interesting interpretations of the add-ons in some fan works. Or, like, they're covered in eyes. The Queen's add-ons are really interesting. I was always unsure if they were really meant to be, like, anything, because it does kind of feel like, you know what, it's an RPG. RPGs are boring if you only have one character. So it just kind of slip something in there. Which I kind of feel like that was probably how they originally started and probably just, you know, add a little flavor in there so there's something to them. Yeah. This is where I came in. Yeah, it is. Um. It's a clock. Um. Hmm. I think I went in here. Yeah, I did. I believe you can do something at towards the left of the area now. Back here somewhere. Did I... I'm not sure where I've been now. Did you always mean for the game to go through the full four areas? Yes. But I know from the original concept of the idea of the game, it's definitely a lot different than what it turned out to be. Hmm. Like, the entire idea and the original name of why it was called One, but was eventually changed, was because it was only going to be Due. Hmm. Like, there wouldn't even be any NPCs or anything. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Oh. Let me guess. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll say it now, you should probably screenshot that floor. Oh no. Because this, right. this puzzle even trips me up sometimes. And I'm the one who made it. weren't wise. Oh, come on, just, just sneak around. Sneak around the fence. Yeah, I've definitely noticed uh, that my stories kind of morph a lot as they go. My biggest problem with creative stuff is I always... I, I need to start way smaller than I want to. Especially with like written stuff. I never, I just never get short story ideas. I always get like something really long. And it's like I don't have time to write all of that. So I, got, like, I mean, before I started working on one, I was writing a story that was 46 chapters in. Jeez. But it, it's been on, on hiatus ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was writing a novel in high school, and it was like. I was looking at like the publishing world. It's like I don't know if I want to be. I don't know if I want to really be a subject to that. And just yeah. like I've considered wanting to publish my book, but then it's like, oh gosh, some of the things that happen in this book, I don't know how that would be viewed. <laughs> there is self-publishing stuff, but I don't know how well that does for things that aren't like memes <laughs> and like you know internet celebrities and stuff so I don't know mm -hmm. I don't know how worth it would be oh there's a thing there <laughs> alright this is what you'll need that screenshot for
shit. <laughs> yeah, even this puzzle trips me up. Yep. Oh! I saw his ass this time. Yeah, that looks like a very familiar boy. Also, check the bottom right of this area. Alright. Two candles. Two big boys. Gee, better. How come your mom lets you get two candles? Time a video game needs some like mysterious object, like three out of four times. A mysterious float cube. So I guess there's nothing, there's no endings, there's nothing I really need to worry about doing or not doing before the end. I just... Yeah, there's nothing we really have to worry about. Uh, but it's always good to keep in mind, like, some of the things for in the future when the game does finish. So is, like, that, um, those old pages you get in the very first area, are those probably required for the true ending? Yes. Something so in... in... insignificant. <laughs> Can you do even read the pages? Does anyone ever use the row command in off or off? I, I don't games? think everyone's ever used it. <laughs> oh, there's a chest down there. I, oh. For some reason, my brain interpreted the, the green as water. Even though I've walked over that very same green many, many times. Locked. Are the locked doors mostly just like areas you plan to add later or? Yeah, but before you go up, go back down the stairs and go to the bottom right of the map. Alright. Like, further down than that place where it found the cube? Yeah. Oh, here we go. For some reason I see the grass, I don't think, to walk over towards it. I just feel so different from the usual. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Um. 
It's the first time I've seen a gear that's neither better nor worse. Oh, Abdon's meat is like a tent. I didn't even notice that. I should have been using those. <laughs> yeah, you're practically at the end of the demo now. <laughs> yeah, may as well get some stuff. Don't forget to equip. Oh yeah, anything on the left? Nope. What's this thing? Huh. Probably just a different status effect or something. Huh. Is there a difference between yeah. this and the Sword of Kings? I can't remember. I think the only other equipment you have is for the judge. You're a lot stronger than I am at this point. The second I close the menu or leave a save point save. or anything. <laughs> it's probably just something in the game engine, but like while you're being attacked, you can't move the menu. Well, luckily in this area, you're free of encounters. This upper part. Yeah. To find tickets. It's like a spooky castle. Every any time there's like elevation and off, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a whale. Spooky whale. Do most fan games tend to like? reference the old enemies or because like I haven't this is really the only one that I've actually played actually there's only one game I could think of that references the old enemies and that is a uh, find me mm. why we stop is is that who I think it is batter is that you uh oh he's edgier batter what happened to you not let you live. Better, it's me, remember? It's got extra eyes. I know only the gods. You defy them, and therefore must be purified. He's still got a snazzy hat. Bat! Oh no! He's less of a ducky than he used to be. I should purify all who stand in the way of the gods. Batter. That is not a regulation bat. What have they done to you? Uh, let's get some buffs from buttons, shall we? Scan. Corpse batter. Deranged purificatory incarnation. Oh, crown of king, diabolical, and airborne royal headwear. Kill his hat first, though. He's got a new hat! Oh, 
systems. No, it's just a chain. So are all magic are all things that cost CP considered like magic or like what stat do they use? They vary between uh they can use be based off your attack or your uh, magic uh -huh. or intelligence. Assume that's the feature of a fair amount of off fan games. If they don't feature him already. I assume most of them like either he's the bad guy or just you're bad the batter again. Yeah. I'm very interested to start up home. <laughs> I feel bad, but I, I genuinely think I got requested to play that 2013 or so? 2000. It was definitely before 2016. I kept meaning to play it. It's not like I didn't want to. But uh, stuff just got in the way. Well, I know at one point, I can't remember when it was, but home did get its own sort of overhaul at one point. Due to a fallout between Felix and the other person who was kind of working on it. Mm. I think it might have been fairly in development. That's usually with fan stuff, if it's not like 100% declared finished, I'm usually just wait. That's why I usually well, like. I think the game was done, but then the person left the project and Felix had to complete or redo most of it again. Oh, uh, jeez. So it was finished at one point, then redone and finished again. Uh, that's probably the reason I was a little afraid to work on major stuff with people. I kinda. Yeah, so. I tend to when like you think that. about it, there's two versions of Home, and it all depends on if anybody else has that older version. I may, but I, I prefer with the, the new version. Mm. I'm sure that's what I'll, I'll just play what's on the wiki, which I'm sure is the new one. Yeah. Has the off, is the fan game wiki always been the kind of repository of all of that stuff, or? Like where they all go? Yeah, like where you would go to find everything, I guess. For the most part. I know there's some people who have games but haven't made it onto the wiki because people haven't discovered them. I assume you're probably allowed to just put it on there. Yeah, you're allowed to put it on there if you desire. I just know recently there was like this huge uh, like somebody was vandalizing it. Mm. Just like completely erasing it. Sucks. You know what's funny? There was um, there's a oh wrong one. Um, the vine ticket. Wait, no. Isn't there a better multi heal? Yes, the. Oh, it's just the loving, loving ticket. ticket, but it's not very good. No. Oh, but there's um, a Donkey Kong Country um, wiki of all things and like. It was like a really dedicated troll that made their own like fake lore about the do like the ape war and there's like this massive page oh my gosh. and it's like they it is trolling but it's like it doesn't um oh i might use the platinum flesh 
Um, I mean, that just sounds like hilarious trolling. Yeah, it's like, it's com it's contained to its own page. It's really dedicated. Oh, the platinum, oh, the platinum meat is sorted down here. That's why I can't find it. Yeah. There yeah. It is. Um, like, w once it's more like effort posting than trolling, like, if it's not like trying to, you know, annoy people, I, I can hardly even mind it. But yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> It's like super like, detailed. That sounds funny. Yeah, it's like super detailed. Like they, they take every like, it's like a parody of like a um, uh, what are they called? The game theorist things. They'll take like, okay, this one character has like a plane, so this obviously means that they were using ape biplanes in the Great Ape War. <laughs> it's just so dedicated. I've had to learn how to deal with trolls before, and I had a lot of education in that on Discord. Got a lot of raids early on, which haven't mm -hmm. had too much of that lately, fortunately. Cease well, this good. madness. Listen to me. The battery I know is still in there somewhere. Those bastards messed with you. They changed you into this. Please, I know you're there. Ah, uh, you... I remember now. Sad boys. They're wrong. Aw, oh, Babby Blight. I'm not a failure. I'm not. They're the ones that are failures. I hate them. He's got like a soot cat. Hey, kid. What do you want? You come to rub my face that I'm a failure too? No. Came here to tell you not to listen to them. Why not? Why do you care? To be honest, I'm not really sure. Guys, you're nothing more than an impure demon. Unholy abomination. Is that supposed to help? But, at the same time, I see something else within you. Perhaps it's just because you're meant to be Zachary. I don't want to be him. I don't want to be someone I'm not. Who's to say you have to be? What do you mean? Just because they see you as a failure and others something else, that doesn't mean you have to listen to them. What really matters is, what do you see yourself as? In your eyes, who are you? I don't know who I am. In time, you will. Unlike me, you have freedom. I chose my path. You have the opportunity to choose yours. Thank you, Batter. I thought you weren't that nice, but you proved me wrong. Don't get used to it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Only four years have passed. You're even more mangled than before. My condition has worsened since our last encounter. My body and mind have grown beyond my age and will only continue to do so. At this rate, I'm not long for this world. I see. Blight. Excuse me? Back then, you told me to find out who I am. I'm Blight. Blight, huh? I don't see any positivity in that name. But more importantly, what happened to you? Why do you look the way you do? They gave me this body. They gave me to continue my mission. To purify those who stood in their way of rebuilding the world. You don't have to listen to them. But it's like you told me back then. You can choose your own path. I already chose my path. You did in the beginning, but times have changed. They forced your decision in the end. Are you happy with what it is they're making you do? Even if you still go along with their beliefs, we must stop them. They're the impure force that plagues these lands. Do you still plan intend to impede upon our mission? No. You're right. Things have changed since the day I messed you. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. I will not stop you. My head is clear. I'll ever give you a warning. I'll stop at nothing to make you end their quest. Don't listen to them. Thanks for the heads up, Batter. I'll keep that in mind. Come on, do. An important date with destiny. Thanks, Scary Batter. So you're the boy Zachary created. I've heard quite a bit about you. Last I saw him, he was fine. I'd be quick for you, however. It's only a matter of time until his will is broken. Oh, that's good to know. Oh boy. Oh, these ones, I assume, do start encounters? No. Oh. <laughs> but 
they do this. Ah. Uh. <laughs> People really, really hate this section. Oh, um, how much longer would you say? I'm just wondering, should I... Oh, you're, you're right at the end. Alright, I'll just finish in this video then. Um, how long would you say it probably will be for, um, the new version for 4.8? Oh. Like, if you were playing 4.8? No, like, um, roughly, just like, how long do you think it'll be to, before you finish it? Well, until I finish it to become 5.0, I'm not 100% sure or have a clear... <laughs> or have a clear idea. I'd like to release it soon, though. But with everything being on my own... Oh, there it oh, is. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working on it by myself, it definitely takes a lot out of me. Yeah, I bet. So you plan to release 4.8 then, and then 5, or are you just trying to finish it to release 5? Just to release it to release 5, because if I put out more, people would have less to look forward to. Yeah, that's kind of what I was figuring with the... It seemed like, um, from what I've seen, it feels like... It definitely feels like the final version of all of the... At least of all the stuff that there currently is. I assume yeah. you don't really have any revisions to make for most of that anyway. It's probably just adding new stuff. Yeah, adding new stuff, and... Uh, there is, like, some things I need to do revisions of, like with the mannequin dialogues. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, I guess it that's just weird. boots you straight back out. <laughs> it's kind of nice to not well, have to do that room again, but... Oh, well. Well, that was really cool. Um, I'll definitely want to check this out whenever... You know, 5.0 is all done. Um, feel free to let me know whenever that is. I'll definitely want to check it out. Um, yeah, if you're ever interested, I, I could ever always send you 4.8 for yourself. Yeah, I might want to poke around myself. Um, one thing I was wondering, do you have... Um, like, I know you've streamed some of 4.8 and stuff. Is there anything people can watch or whatever to see kind of the changes for themselves? Um, is it like on Tumblr or anything? There are some stuff on Tumblr, and I do occasionally, sh well, again, I do stream my game every now and again to test stuff if people are interested in seeing what's new. Uh, what is the uh, what is the Tumblr? I'll, just so I don't forget. Uh, it's very weird. It's called uh, Chimaki Isane at Tumblr. Uh, uh, just send me a DM on Discord, then I'll make sure it's in the uh, yeah, description. Yeah, I, I can spell it. All right, well, that was one, version 4.5. Um, expect, hmm, I don't know if when 5.0 is out, if I will redo stuff or if I'll try to continue here. I think what I might do is kind of do a thing where I show you the bosses because the guardians are really the big changes. So I might do kind of a boss rush and just kind of, you know, cut out the middle segments because most of, I mean, there are some changes. Um, I'll kind of just try to showcase just the changes. Because like I saw it before, and like Zone Zero is almost the same. Um, yeah, it's practically the same. Yeah, and the other zones, it's really mostly the corrupted zones that got the uh, the changes so far. So I probably wouldn't do a full playthrough on camera, just because it'd be a lot of the same. But I'd probably show those, probably show the bosses, um, if I can find it that secret boss, and obviously any of the new areas. But uh, I'll figure out what I'll do there then, whenever. 5.0 is out but definitely looking forward to that thank you so much for uh, hopping on the call to do this i always i always super appreciate whenever devs um pop in and that's one thing if in 10 years of youtube it's never gotten old when developers of any game any size you know just give any kind of recognition it's always really super cool to just be like hey i played your game it was really cool and just kind of that back and forth is really cool yeah well, i'm glad that you had me for this yeah, it was great. And personally, I think Let's Plays are like really good for, for getting feedback stuff. Because like even, I feel like even if you're like a tester, there's so much stuff that you're not going to think to relay when you're testing a game that you kind of would see if like a creator is like just 
actually watching over your shoulders. Like, oh, he didn't even go in that room. That was an important <laughs> room. Or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's definitely helped me find bugs when other people play it. Because, again, as creators, we don't bother to really look in these little areas that have no meaning. We just kind of zoop to the, where we need to. Yeah, I have, a, <laughs> I have a habit of, like, poking around the margins. Like like in the Power Wash Simulator video where I just jump out of the world. <laughs> I, lo <laughs> I love finding stuff like that. Those kinds of things are great. Yeah. Well, that's the end of 4.5. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will be back with 4.8 when, er, well, 5.0 whenever I can do that. And expect videos of home pretty soon. <laughs>